Bruno or Jerry Bonkowski. On 1420 WEMB Sports Radio, I'm Mark E. Bilson, your voice of choice for a new generation of Tri-City Sports fans. Is the new generation of Tri-City Sports fans into NASCAR is the old one? Because by my count, Jerry Bonkowski, and I act one, two, three in a section, and then roughly multiplying uh, the rest of the sections, and I said, by my count, 26,000. I could see 36. I mean, you know, it's difficult to tell. And I go into why I could see 36. Uh, that seems to be what people are saying. NASCAR isn't releasing attendance counts. And I, I guess, uh, you know, you said you were watching this up in Chicago and you were shocked, Jerry. It lost its luster. Uh, what's going on here, in your opinion? Because I want to talk about a race only a mother could hate with the Bush brothers <laughs> beating each other. But, uh, you know, this was just staring us in the face. There's nobody in the Colwicky section. There's nobody in the Waltrip section. I, I, you know, did you ever think this day would come to Bristol? Never. Never. I mean, it was very sad to see. I mean, I've got a lot of friends down in Bristol and traffic you know, that live in that area. It was very surprising. But that being special. We're talking to Jerry Bonkowski, and I know the August race still has a bit more of a luster. Okay, this is where it has more of the nationwide appeal, that sort of thing. Maybe, I don't know, they say that they're, you know, marketing towards the Tri-Cities in the spring race. Maybe this is, uh, you know, 30,000, give or take uh, a few, how many people really, uh, you know, could come from the Tri-Cities. Uh, but then again, you start thinking, wait a minute, the TV market is 473,000. I mean, you know, is that, uh, you know, should you have more from the area? It's uh, debatable and such. What I guess I was thinking, and I know that uh, a lot of the local media uh, uh, suggest, well, you know, Speedway Motorsports, they have now interest in Nashville. Could they be uh, moving a race? I've said, well, you know what? I mean, to the spoils belong the victors. I think now we see why uh, there will enhance a, a big venue, that sort of thing. Uh, we could see, you know, why was the race moved? Why did they move the August race to September next year? We're getting a playoff race. Maybe the feeling was when the playoffs started, you know, Bristol didn't need among the victors and such. But I, I did think to you, this is sort of my philosophy, keep an eye on Pocono next year and the double header. I mean, do you think something like that could come to Bristol one day? I think it would be a big mistake to do that at Bristol. You know, the, the Nashville reference you made, that to me is, you know, is totally inconsequential to Bristol Motor Speedway in the sense that it would take away from 